What is going on guys? Roll here with Seek Fine Play, bringing you another video game figure spotlight. This time we're going to be doing the Good Smile Company's Mega Man uh, Nendroid. Now if you are wondering about that, that does not say Mega Man, that says Rock Man. That is because I ordered mine online and it came from Japan. So Mega Man means Rock Man, Rock Man means Mega Man, so same thing uh, uh, to me at least. But anyways, you can get one that says Mega Man. This was just my personal preference. Uh, so yeah, let's check out the box here. You can see uh, we got Mega Man with all of his accessories here. Top is the same thing. Just pretend that this is Mega Man in case you don't like it. Anyways, bottom has a different pose there. It's a charge shot, regular shots. Side of the box. Uh, we got him in his just a regular stance. And the, oh damn, I just got wrecked pose. We got a jumping and E-Tank. Uh, let's check out the back here. I don't know what all that says, but pretty cool poses there on the back. Probably all just warning stuff, same as any other toy here. Uh, but yeah, let's go. Oh man, I just noticed that says Rockman as well. Anyways, let's go ahead and uh, crack it open. All right, this is what the figure and all the accessories look like out of the package. Let's go ahead and run through them real quick. First, you got these uh, legs here, like the outward legs. Now, I believe these are specific to his uh, damage pose. Unless you are going to pose him that way, uh, you will be using these, which is okay. Um, if you are someone like me who poses them a lot, uh, you will definitely get some use out of these. So, yeah, these legs are specific for that. Um, they do have, do they have movement? No. Alright, we got some legs and arms. Now, these are... Uh, they just they're just bent a specific way so you can attach uh, either if you want like a bent arm effect like when he takes damage or like, let's say you want a buster shot straight out or just kind of like a passive one like I have on him now. now I thought this was pretty cool I noticed that there was um, all sorts of hands and then an open hand for him to kind of rest when he shoots his uh, his cannon which is this one with this one it's already attached so you don't have to fuss with um, trying to get the hand to fit oops there you go oh, does it come off oh it does come off too pretty awesome some regular fists here going in case you want a double uh, <laughs> double fist let's you want both hands uh, fist it up. Now we also do have some regular shots here and we have a charge shot in case you are partial to one or the other. It's pretty cool. Nice little effect here. It's nice and solid. It's got the peg hole for the uh, accessory stand here so in case you want to you want the shot to be farther out or closer in. Same thing with that one there pretty cool. I'll probably end up using that one. And of course we have the faces which are probably one of my favorite parts of these Nendroids. They have such animated faces. Now obviously this is the taken damage face which is just open mouth sleepy eyes and once again these are sculpted in there. It's not a decal or sticker or anything. These are actually nice and smooth too. And then we have a more angry face. It's almost like the one that he has on there now. Now he's looking more serious, kind of just standing there. And this one is a more of a action, getting stuff done, angry face. So, now let's look at the actual figure itself. Uh, let's go ahead and switch his face. Now, androids have a weird way of switching their faces. You actually, like, rip the face off and, like, Make him Robocop. This is always kind of strange to do. But yeah, you just take the face off and slide the new one in. Really, really simple to do. And there you go. Oops. Just line it up there, and there you are. Oh, there you go. That one's a, good, a bit more accurate, I would say, for him to uh, be shooting out stuff. Now the actual figure itself, all these figures have the peg holes in the back so you can use the stands. Now I, I don't have that many, but every single one that I do have 
has come with this stand. So, blurring this out of the way. Nice, nice little figure. Nice tiny little body. Not much to it. Articulation is kind of limited. He does kind of pivot everywhere though, so that's good. Let me just tighten that up. And these things do come all the way apart. So, you can switch accessories and all that stuff. The range of motion on the head, he can look up that much, look down that much. Obviously, full range of motion on the head. That ball joint in there. Same thing with the arms, I guess. There is no... There is no, like, uh... There's no butterfly joints or anything like that. Obviously, there's just peg in. Um, the legs do have small ball joints there, as you can see that. It does have a good amount of motion there. Oh, it's starting to come out. And his little feet there actually stuck in place. No turning there. Ah, that's pretty cool. The detail on these is really, really nice. Helmet holes there. But yeah, these little things are pretty awesome. Now these little figures aren't terribly expensive. Mega Man, in fact, is one of the cheaper ones. I don't know if he was more mass produced or what, but you can, you can, if you really look, you can probably get this guy around 20, 25 bucks for the actual Nendoroid. You can go get a knockoff uh, third party or something. And once again, Good Smile delivers with their Nendoroid figures. I've yet to be disappointed with one of these figures. They are amazing, especially the video game line. There's a ton of them coming out. Hopefully I'll be able to get my hands on them for you guys uh, and give you some quick spotlights. So thank you for watching. Once again, if you guys like what you saw, go ahead and hit that like button, subscribe for more videos, and I will see you guys next time.